Howard finally developed some balls and told the residents in D.C., mainly these ginger fires, to keep their dogs off of the campus. Howard should have came out long before now. Anytime a ginger fire feels comfortable in telling you if you don't like it, move to campus, they've been doing it for a while, y'all. This It didn't just start. I wouldn't be surprised if they were on the campus with their dogs a year ago and nothing got said. You know, that's the problem with people that gingerfy a neighborhood. They come with all of their effed up habits. They don't come to get along with the people in the community. They come to dominate and tell everybody what they can and cannot do. This is why no one wants to see you coming. Now, they complain about shit that ain't even a crime in the eyes of the law or anyone. It's a complaint just for the idea of complaining. Now, you saw the video on that one gentrifying dog walker and talking about using the campus. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, if this was Yale or Stanford, that same person would not have said a damn thing and they would have kept their dog off of the campus. But because this is an HBCU, they didn't care. How the hell do you tell a college that's been there for 152 years they need to move over your damn dog? A dog that probably don't have a life expectancy beyond 10 years. Somebody's got to move for that reason. If you don't get out of here, so the president of Howard finally issued a statement letting the residents around that area know their dogs will not be permitted. And you need to get your campus police to make sure it is enforced because you know how these folks are. They have this mentality. If you tell them what your rules are, they will break it anyway. Just to be defiant. So Howard need to get campus police out there to actively run these folks off and they really need to be fined because what are those dogs leaving behind? Are they cleaning up after their dogs or are they leaving that pile of dog shit all over the place? Nobody should have to walk around campus with the potential of stepping in dog poop. So. Howard president tells dog walkers to respect the school's history and keep their canines off the campus. It's a damn shame that this has to be said in the first place. So this story came out on the 23rd of April after students and the alumni confronted dog walkers for using the yard for their canine Howard University President Wayne A. I. Frederick banned residents from using the central lawn as a dog park. Exactly. Exactly. And there are many parks around D.C. for these people to go with their dogs. So there's no reason why any of them should even think about going to a college campus with their dogs. And those dogs all have the potential of biting people. I mean, that's why I was saying in my other video, is Howard prepared for students getting a dog bite. These residents, they don't care. You know, they are not the original residents from the area. So they don't care how they treat Howard University. They don't care. It means nothing to them. The history means nothing to them. In order for them to tell a university has been there since 1867, they should move over their dog that probably got the life expectancy of 10 years. <laughs> Woo, the nerve and the audacity of these people, y'all. You know, so... 
the students felt, and I agree with these students, it was a major lack of respect for the school and the students that the residents, the gentrifying residents, not all residents were doing this. The gentrifiers were bringing their dogs up there and walking them in private areas. How do you keep your campus looking nice and welcoming for students and parents that are constantly coming up there and you got all these dogs on campus? People don't want to see that. You know, those campuses are attracting investors, potential students that are coming in and out of there with their parents from high school. How is that going to look with a bunch of dogs on the campus? It's not a good look and it should not be happening at all. So um, the students, and I'm glad they did this. They kept on complaining until the president finally wrote a statement. We recognize that service animals are a necessary aspect of modern day life, but those were not service animals. Let's get that right. I don't even like that the president of Howard even said that. Those gentrifiers bringing their animals up there, those are not service animals, y'all. We will accommodate them as needed, Frederick wrote in an email. We appreciate pet owners respecting our campus by not bringing pets onto the private areas. He said he wants to see the campus remain pristine and symbolic of all that Howard University represents. Okay, these are just average pet owners. They, they don't have service dogs up there. They were bringing their pets and letting their pets go around this campus. Again, it's a lack of respect. That's what these ginger fires really feel about an HBCU. They were showing you. Concerned students and alumni took to Twitter expressing their concerns with Howard, hashtag Howard won't move, hashtag. Yeah, because Howard took too long to say something, y'all. This situation would never have gotten out of hand if they would have took a stand immediately. So this came out a tweet from Caitlin, and it says, so Howard's a private college, but the gentrifying locals want to claim the yard and every other speck of D.C. greenery as a part of their community. This winter, was it a community problem when Howard needed hot water on campus so students could resume classes? Hashtag Howard won't move. Interesting. Historically, so this is from Clinique. Historically, Howard was and remains one of the few safe spaces for black people in our nation's capital and we refuse to have that compromise by colonizers plus dogs. Um, hashtag Howard won't move. This is from Jalen Pashal. Hashtag Howard won't move. What's unfortunate about the journalism work of local DC outlets is that somehow a story that is really about culture and respect has become about dog walking. Yeah. As a way to address and educate Howard's neighbors, Frederick has reached out to the local advisory neighborhood commission and the councilwoman representing the area in hopes to make faculty and students grievances heard. The university described as a sacred place hosts various community events, parades, the yard plays a part in graduation ceremonies and serves as a symbol of schools, the school's rich history. Yeah, 
but you shouldn't have to explain this. These things should never be happening. You know, we know DC is heavily gentrified now, unfortunately. And it, it has not been a good thing at all. Howard is a private institution nestled in the heart of an urban city. And we've shared a longstanding positive relationship with our evolving communities more than 150 years, which we look forward to continuing in the future, he said. All right, y'all. So finally, hopefully this will end it with the help of campus police when they see these folks to run them off. Because you know, there's always some that will be defiant and they don't care what is said. And you're going to have to take a much harsher stand against them and their dogs. And there should be fines. Since Howard's grounds are really private, it should be fines on these people for doing these sort of things. Don't stop short of a statement. Make sure you take this even further if they try to continue to come up there with their dogs. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.